Opioid-Induced Respiratory Depression Opioid-induced respiratory depression is a potentially life-threatening adverse effect of opioids such as morphine, dilaudid, and fentanyl. Opioids suppress respiratory and cough center located in the medulla of the brain stem, causing reduced respiratory rate and hypoventilation and result in severe hypoxemia. Risk of opioid-induced respiratory depression increases with patients who are over the age of 65, opioid naive, and patients who had surgery within the last 24 hours due to the effect of anesthesia. Patients who are on chronic opioids have less risk for opioid-related respiratory depression due to opioid tolerance. Other risk factors include a history of COPD, smoking, and obesity, which increases the risk of sleep apnea. Concurrent use of other sedating medications such as benzodiazepines and antihistamines also puts patients at a higher risk. Nursing interventions. Assess respiratory rate. Respiratory depression occurs and can escalate quickly when respiratory rate is less than 8 to 10 breaths per minute. Monitor for level of consciousness because sedation usually precedes respiratory depression. Passero opioid induced sedation. Scale is a tool to assess sedation during opioid administration as shown below. Level S, 1, and 2 are acceptable and expected for patients who are on opioids. However, if a patient falls asleep during conversations, it could be an indicator that the patient might be getting too sedated from the opioid and providers should be notified to consider decreasing the dose and continue to monitor respiratory rate. For patients who are somnolent, have minimal or no response to verbal and physical stimuli, opioids should be held. Provide respiratory support if needed and naloxone should be considered. Naloxone is an opioid antagonist that reverses the effect of opioid overdose. The duration of action is approximately 90 minutes while most opioids remain in effect for 3 to 4 hours in the body so patients should be monitored for recurrent respiratory depression and repeat doses may be needed.